Hey guys, this is Upesh from bbomb.com and this week is kind of a vintage bbomb week and I'm going to start this week with some really cool new apps that you are going to love. Now, these are some apps that I found on the Play Store through Reddit and a lot of other sources, but these are apps you are definitely going to love. So, let's get started. Android 10 gestures are okay, but if there's one thing I don't like about them is the fact that you cannot customize them. I mean, it is Android, you expect things to be customizable. Anyway, since it is Android, you can always download an app for that. Enter Gesture Plus, an app that brings exactly that. With Gesture Plus, you can just tap on the navigation bar to go back. I mean, a lot of people dislike the back gesture Android 10, so this is, well, definitely easier. I can also long press on the navigation bar to open a shortcut or, you know, open an app. I prefer to use this to capture screenshots because it's just easier. Anyway, there are a lot of other customization options as you can see. And well, Gesture Plus is available for free, but a lot of its features are available in the Pro version, which costs 150 rupees. So yeah, you should check it out. So next up, Beta Maniac is an app that is for all of us, basically tech maniacs who love testing beta version of apps to maybe get hands on new features early or maybe to just live life on the edge. So in Beta Maniac, once you've signed in with the Google account you use on the Play Store, you will see your list of apps and the apps whose beta version you can test. The green tick shows that you already have the beta of that app and the blue tick shows the beta of this app is available. You can just tap on an app with the blue tick and become a beta tester right here, right away. How awesome is that? Plus the app auto scans for new beta releases or apps that get a beta version. So yeah, this is really great for all of us beta maniacs. We have seen offensive and explicit deepfakes in the past, but Dublicat is an app that uses deepfake to create some super fun GIFs. Yes, how about me as Monsieur Candy from Django Unchained? Or how about Akshay as Harry Potter? Well, it's pretty simple. You just take a photo out of which the app detects your face. Then you can just choose a GIF you want your face in and tap Reface after which the app will take a few seconds and then use deepfake to insert your face in the GIFs. This is fun, right? Plus you can add multiple faces to use different faces in different GIFs. Here are a few GIFs we created and well, it's not perfect as you can see, but when it works, it's a lot of fun. Duplicat is a free app, so you should definitely try it out and share your photos with us on Twitter. Okay, next up we have this crazy cool new app. This is TypeWise keyboard, which brings a brand new keyboard layout with big keys that's set to be designed specifically for smartphones. Now, I know this looks like a lot of work and honestly, as you can see, I'm still going through the learning curve, but it is interesting, no doubts about that. And the developers claim 80% less typos thanks to the bigger keys and this hexagon layout. Now, I'm not sure about that, but I do like the gestures here. I can flick up on a letter to capitalize, swipe left to delete, and swipe right to undo the same. These gestures are great, but there's no English support, which is a bummer. And yeah, like I said, this takes a lot of time getting used to. But if you want to try something new, go ahead, check this out and try a new way to type. Google has been releasing a lot of cool digital well-being apps, including some great wallpaper apps. For example, I really like the Unlock Clock wallpaper. Well, Google recently released a new wallpaper app called Activity Bubbles. Like Unlock Log, this is a wallpaper that aims to show you how much you're using your phone so that you can cut down your smartphone usage. Now, I'm not sure if it'll help me with that, but I do know one thing. This looks cool. I mean, you start the day with a clean black wallpaper, which looks great on AMOLED phones. And as the day progresses, your screen is filled with bubbles. And these bubbles are based on the amount of time that you used your phone for and the number of times you've unlocked the phone. It's really interesting and I'm really interested. We all know that Microsoft makes some great apps for Android. I mean, remember the good old SMS Organizer app? Well, Microsoft Math Solver is a new app by Microsoft to help you solve some maths. Yeah, let me show you. So basically with Microsoft Math Solver, there are two ways to solve a math problem. You can either scan a question from your phone's camera or just jot down a problem on the display like you usually would. Both of these methods work fairly well and I like the fact that the app shows step-by-step -step solutions and multiple ways to solve a problem. 
So you get a better idea to solve a problem. I think it's incredible. Microsoft Math Solver can solve problems in various topics, including arithmetic, algebra, trigonometry, that stupid fucking calculus. Yeah, I hated it. The app supports a lot of different languages, which is definitely great. And this is a free app. So all you students out there, check this out. And yeah, tell us how you like it. So whenever we do this video of cool new apps, there's always one app that has one of the most beautiful UIs we've ever seen. And Memorigi is this app on this list. This is a to-do reminders, calendar and task manager app rolled into one and it looks amazing. It's clean, has a great font and textile and has some sweet, sweet transitions. Plus it's feature packed. When you open up the app, you get this nice my day page where you can add all the tasks you have for your day, set reminders for them, share it with people, pin it to the top, you get the idea. However, you can just swipe down from the top to reveal all of the different pages like a tasks page, a feature rich calendar page and a progress page. As you can see, there are a lot of other lists here and you can always add more. So yeah, this is a great app that you should try. Memory Geek is available for free, but some of its features are limited to the premium version, which is available for 250 rupees per month. So WPS Fill and Sign isn't exactly a new app. It was launched, I think, in mid-2019. But this is an app that's super useful, especially for people who have a lot of PDF forms to fill. So I was recently filling out the Spain visa form for MWC 2020, which, by the way, was cancelled due to coronavirus. Yeah, check out our super informative video on that. Anyway, so I was trying to fill out this form and I was facing a lot of issues. Some PDF editors did not load up the form correctly, some did not have the tick mark option, some were missing signature support, and this is where WPS Fill and Sign came in so handy. This app is just great for filling in PDF forms. The interface is intuitive, you can add text, ticks, and there's also support for signature. You can create a signature on your phone, just add it simply, it's great. And there's also autofill profile, which makes filling these forms way quicker. Yeah, this is super handy. So the next app on this list is App Notify, which has to be the simplest app in this whole video, but it also solves a big problem for Android users. So Android users have been unhappy with Play Store no longer showing notifications for updated apps. Now, we thought it's a bug, but as it turns out, it's an intended feature. Yeah, why is that a feature? Anyway, if you've been missing this on your phone, App Notify fixes this little issue. It brings the notifications for updated apps. So all of us tech geeks can check out the change log, what's the update all about, the new features and whatnot. All in all, App Notify is a clean, ad-free and an open source app that deserves a mention. Well, those are some really new, really cool, really great apps that you must check out and all of the links are in the description, so do check them out. Also, if you know of any other great app, new app that we missed out on, let us know in the comments so that everyone can know and try it out. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.